Making your way across the beams, you stumble upon a tense conversation between two men of high station, Zhao Gao, the Emperor's advisor, and Meng Tian, the Grand General. Curiously, they pass veiled threats between one another, hinting at discord within the upper echelons of the Empire. As their conversation heats up, however, the door to the bedchamber slides open and the Emperor of China himself strides out. Both men humble themselves in front of the passing Emperor and follow him out of the room as he leaves. Way's clear. What did our informant say about the treasure? She said it was a treasure stolen from a. On my honor as Yosha, I will return this treasure to the people. Intruder! Stop you right there! Ever share a the chain, the chain. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. approaching. Don't let them protect! Keep searching! They can't have gotten far! Stay low. Keep to the shadows. Yes, sir. Over there! I think I saw some movement. Is someone here? What, what is, is happening? happening? There no Scoundrel. mercy! <laughs> Dare oppose the The exit is just ahead. We just have to get past the square. Just as you approach the gate, a group of Qin guards appear to block your escape. Standing back to back, you and Chu Huan prepare to fight the surrounding Qin guards when your other companion, Yu Ying, leaps from a low wall to create an opening for your escape. What would the two of you do without me? We were doing just fine, Ying. Ying Ying is right to be concerned. We didn't expect so many guards to turn up. Much less the Emperor himself. The Emperor? But Jingjing's intel is never wrong. I'll speak to her when we get back. Let's focus on getting home safe for now.
Is that the fastest you've got? Big talk for a slow guy. Let's see if you've been training your footwork. <laughs> this is nothing. I haven't done this in so long. You just hang on tight. Up we go. Go! This is easy. Steady now. Keep the pace. Final stretch. Come on. This is it. I'm not giving up. Looks like someone will be pouring wine for me tonight. How about double or nothing? First one back down wins superiority. And no cleaning duties for a month. <laughs> you just don't know when to admit you're beat, do you? You're on. Bet if I climbed up that beam, I could use it to my advantage. I should take a good look before I leap. Looks like the perfect spot to leap. <laughs> Flawless. Huh, that was foolish, but impressive. I'll admit that. Well then, I expect the chores to be done first thing in the morning. Are you mad? That jump was dangerous. A win is a win. All right. Anyway, from here on, we'll travel separately to avoid suspicion. Our mounts are close by. Call them and we'll head back home. That ruckus we caused back at the palace. I hope no one traces that back to us. I have to speak with Jing as soon as I get back. She has a lot of explaining to do. Help! Bandits have taken our children and captured them over there! You're free. Get back to the village, but make no sound.
spare this life. Over here. Thank you, Yoshia. I will remember this forever. Thank you. As you free the last villager, a final bandit comes out of hiding but begs for mercy. Thinking he's harmless, you spare him. But a figure leaps out from behind you and stabs him. It is Nia Jing, the Yoshia's informant. He said he surrendered. And if a lion told you it would not bite, would you walk into its den? Speaking of lions and dens, you never told us the Emperor himself would be at the palace. You saw him? And only by a stroke of luck did he not see us. How did you not know? My sources have never been wrong. I can't believe the bandits attacked again and stole the village's supplies. I'm gonna find their camp. Wait, Ju... You should be coming with me. What you've taken from the palace is too precious to have you running around with it. Now come on, let's go.